Number 97. Answer the following questions. And then we have letter C out of the bunch. So at a pressure of 1 atm and a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, dry air has a density of 1.2256 grams per liter. What is the average molar mass of dry air? Okay, so let's list out everything that we know. They told us that we had a pressure of 1 atm, right? Pressure P of 1 atm. They told us that we had a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, okay? And then they give us a density, so I like to call it lowercase d, of 1.2256. Uh, that's grams per liter. What is the average molar mass? So in this case, we're solving for mm. I like to call molar mass mm. And we'll just say that that's a question mark. So you run through all of your gas equations that you know. We've done tons of problems like this, right? And the equation that we're going to use is this one. PMM equals DRT. Maybe I'll make this a little smaller. The pressure we just said was 1 atm. So that's awesome. We're looking for the molar mass. So that's going to be labeled as x. The density they told us was in 1.2256 grams per liters, and that's the correct units for this equation. Remember, the R is that constant unit, 0 0.08226, I believe. Uh, actually, uh, is it, it's usually 8.0821, so this has to be 0 0.08206. And remember, the R units are, um, what are they? They are mole, actually, no, they're ATM times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. So that's why all of these have to have these specific units. And then the temperature, they gave us, but they gave it to us in Celsius. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get it into Kelvin because the R constant has a K, K in it. So this would be 293 Kelvin, 20 plus 273. That's how you convert from Celsius to Kelvin. And now we have 293 Kelvin. So let's give it a shot. We have one. Oh, this is going to work out lovely. One times X. So we don't have to do any multiplication or anything. On the left side, 1.2256. We have the R value of 0 0.08206. Um... And then we have 293. Beauty. So we have x equals, drum roll please, 1.2256 uh, times 0 0.08206 uh, or times 293. And uh, I mean, they did give us five sig figs here, so maybe we'll give five back, but does it really matter? I don't think so. <laughs> So, so we'll say 29.468. And this is molar mass. Remember, molar mass is always in grams per mole. Okie dokie. And that's it. That's the average molar mass of the dry air. Okay. Hope for this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you need letter D... Hang tight because it's coming up in a little bit. Uh, but, you know, as to that, I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.